Okay, hello everyone, this is a lot of sweetness 2011 and sorry for not making new videos. Uh, I was getting caught up with product projects in college, so that was pretty much consuming my life. But on the other hand, I've got caught up, so I decided to make another video. And this video I have for you today is pretty much a multiplicity video, which is several images with a tripod that doesn't move um, and bringing all those images into one single image like you see here this is pictures of myself that I've taken where I live on this stock close by and I use layer mask to bring them all into one single image now I'm going to show you how to do that but first I need to get rid of all these layer masks and once I do that I'll get right back to you okay I've deleted all the layer masks and I deleted several other pictures too just because of time wise I just want to show you how to do this it's basically all the same so once you do this you can keep doing it to all the picture layers that you have or however many people that you want to put in of yourself or whoever it is you may be doing the multiplicity uh, design on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this first layer. Right click that first layer and go to add layer mask and leave that at white full opacity which you see here and just click add. Now what this does is obviously adds the layer mask. So when the foreground color being black is selected and the paintbrush tool is selected, what you do is you paint in this next layer, which is pretty much erasing it um, off the first layer to bring in this second layer, but it's pretty much just painting it in. So with the foreground color being black, kind of click and paint in or erase in whatever um, the picture of you or whoever it is you may be doing into that layer mass to the first layer. Bring him in or she, whoever. <laughs> Once you have that in, you'll probably have some access stuff that doesn't match up like I said it's best to use a tripod because if you take pictures in one single spot if you use a tripod it will not move hopefully but I uh, this was a really windy day when I did this so it kinda did move a little bit as you see here these uh, spaces in between these boards does not match up to this first layer so obviously you do not want that in there so what we're going to do here all this access stuff that we do not want all you have to do is with the paintbrush tool still selected change the foreground to white and you can just click and pretty much paint back the first layer which is erasing what you don't want in here and bring you back the first layer. I know it's probably sounds a little confusing but whatever you do not want or whatever that you brought in that doesn't match or just doesn't blend well just use the foreground color being white and just paint back that the stuff that doesn't match so like you see here this does not match at all this is really hard edge and it doesn't go well so what I'm going to do is just use the paintbrush tool with the foreground color being white and just paint that out and you can work with the opacity on this to get a better edge around the person or whatever it is that you're doing the multiplicity on to get a better quality image at the end or design at the end. Now 
I mean, you can play with this. Um, like I said, if you add more image layers, uh, you want to add more people or you into one single design like you saw before. Um, just keep doing the layer mask and bringing in that next layer below it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you again what that looks like. Like you see here, this is a finished design. So, or not quite, excuse me, I did take it to college, like I said. But I mean, if you like this video, uh, and if it helps you, then that's awesome, as always. But thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.